Hi, this is Theresa from Game Lab. In the setup of game, you can create simulation scenarios with the aim of adjusting the difficulty and learning the objectives of each game. To create or edit a scenario, go to the URL indicated by Game Lab and click on the Scenarios tab. Here, you will find scenarios created by Game Lab. If you need to edit one of these scenarios, click on this button to copy. Then click on this button to edit as you wish. To create your own scenario, click on Create New Scenario. The creation of scenarios is done in five stages. In the first stage, you must enter a name to recognize your scenario. You can also add a description if you wish. You will have to define the annual interest rate that the teams will face in the simulation. Remember that the interest rate will represent the capital cost of maintaining inventory. Therefore, it will affect the decision of the teams. Choose the number of days to be simulated and the actual duration of the game in hours. In this case, the simulation will last half an hour in real time. You must also define the production cost for each bottle produced. When you're ready, click on the button Next. In step 2, you configure the demand via contracts. To create a contract, you must define the quantity of bottles that will be demanded daily, the day that the contract will be announced to the teams, the days they will begin and end, the fill rate, that is to say the percentage of fulfillment of the total demand of the contract that the teams will have to offer to avoid fines, and the fine for every percentage point below this level. The penalty for awarding the contract will be calculated automatically, so that it is only convenient to award a contract when the fill rate is less than half of what is required. Finally, you must define the price at which each bottle will be sold in the contract. When you have entered the conditions, click on Create Contract. You can create as many contracts as you want, but the contracts cannot overlap. Once you have created a contract, you can modify it by clicking on any of the values. In step 3, you will configure the demand for walk-in, that is the customers who come every day to buy at the factory. The demand is constructed by linear sections. In this case, we have a demand that increases linearly, from 0 bottles on day 1 to 10 bottles on day 365. To modify it, we introduce a new breakpoint. Enter the day and the number of bottles demanded at that point. In this case, we add a breakpoint to day 120, which will reach a demand of 10 bottles. You can add the points you need, or edit those that already exist by double-clicking. You can give randomness to the demand using this switch. In step 4, you will configure other initial conditions for the game. Enter the initial money for each team. Remember, if the teams run out of money, then they won't be able to continue playing. You must also define the amount of raw material at the beginning of each game in each factory. The lead time is the time it takes for an order of raw material to arrive. It is very important because it will affect the inventory decisions of each team. You can also set the default inventory policy that teams will have at the beginning of the game. Finally, you define the price at which each unit of raw material will be purchased the sales price of each bottle for working customers, and the fixed cost for each order of raw material. Remember that this cost will also affect the inventory policy decisions. In step 5, you will configure each of the stations of the factory's production process. For each station, you will have to define the unit capacity of the machines in that station, that is to say how many bottles of each machine will produce per hour. Then enter the initial number of machines for this station. And finally, you enter here the purchase price of a new machine. To finish, click on Save. 
Now your stage is ready to be played. If you need to edit it, just use this button. Wanna know more? Write us. Bye.